If they're found guilty of both of them, financially doping, paying for things via offshore accounts, what do you think the punishment for them should be? Well, is it is it um, is it provable that Mancini didn't do any work for the offshore account? Come so, so again, again, so I'm painting you, a, I'm painting a picture here. So if they're found guilty of these things, if the commission says we believe they've done what they're accused of, what relegate. do you believe? Sorry, relegate them. If they've broken the rules that badly, relegate them. But let's be real, nothing's going to happen, Terry, because it's, it's unprovable. Yeah, it's unprovable. Mancini got paid X, Y, and Z from this company that was registered to this person and blah, blah, blah. Prove he didn't do any final, um, advisory work for that company. His contract, I said this on the show yesterday. Let's say that Man City agreed 10 million a year salary for him, yeah? But said, what we're going to do is we're going to pay you 6 million out of the company, Man City, and we're going to pay you the other 4 million out of another company. That ain't, that ain't breaking the rule, right? Because Proofy didn't do any advisory work for that company. Clever accounting, Terry. Why is there so many? Why is there so many post boxes in the Cayman Islands? <laughs> yeah, same thing, right? Same thing. Yeah. So people are getting all their, their knickers in a twist. Yeah. The fact is, they've done clever business. Yeah. And if it means that it's unethical, tough. You, you're posting your comments on an iPhone, mate. Turn it in. Yeah, is the, go and have a look at go and have a look at the vapes with the lithium batteries in them, mate, and see how long that takes. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, get your Tesla out. Yeah, get your Nike trainers and all that. Order it off off of Shein and and Amazon. We could go on and on and on here, Terry. Yeah, maybe, just maybe. Yeah, it's unethical. Yeah, but maybe, just maybe, it's clever accounting, mate. Yeah, which every big business on the planet does. Yeah, but guess what? Because it's Man City and it's Chelsea and they've won everything. And our clubs are crap because they don't go above and beyond and they don't try to win. They're just there for the top four money. Yeah, everyone gets in their feelings and starts crying. Oh, strip them of their title. We're due a title. Man, you are due too. Tottenham are due. Well, shut up, man. How about make your club better? Instead of Not crying about man, yeah, but you don't want you wouldn't want Arsenal to break the rules of the game and cheat to be better. Are you with telling you? me that Arsenal have never broken the rules? That isn't my question. Terry, I couldn't care less. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, mate. Yeah, let's be real here. Arsenal signed a player that was a free signing and gave the Brazilian club two and a half million. Is that cheating? To keep good relations with him. Yeah, we not signed not Marquinhos. If, not, we signed Marquinhos. Not, he was a free okay. signing and we gave yeah. him two and a half mil. Yeah, but Why not, if, not being investigated? Because, well, it depends. Did you pay the money directly through Arsenal's accounts and their bank accounts? And did you equate, equate for that £205 million pound spend? There we go. But you Maybe did. It went through, Lee, Lee, but it went through Arsenal. The point is this. You can't sign somebody for free and then an offshore account that the Cronkies have in the Cayman Islands, they then transfer £5 million to that football club. Because why? What you're, why you can't do that is because you're circumventing the accounts. So on your trading accounts, that's, that's going to show as a free transfer in, but the £5 million doesn't show as going out. That no, is no, against the, the laws of the game. Another company, but that could go down as advisory services for... Um, footballing information yes. or so, managerial again, so, again, advice. But Lee, but Lee, so again, it's around Lee, it, isn't it? It's clever Lee, yes, it's Lee, I understand that. But this is, I think what you, again, let's sit in the real world for a minute. I under, In a court of law, as in criminal law, you're right. It'd be very hard to prove this beyond reasonable doubt. But this isn't in a criminal case. This is civil. And it's based on probability and likelihood. And they don't, they don't need to be 100% sure. You know as well as I do, and Chelsea's Chelsea's situation is making this a lot harder for people. But they do need to be one hundred percent sure. No, they don't need to be. They don't need to be. Can pay for the but best they, lawyers in the world, they, mate. but they don't need yeah. to be. They don't, they don't need to be able to prove it unequivocally for it to go. It's it, both the Premier League and City are going to put their cases forward, and then an independent commission is going to make a judgment on who they think is right or wrong. Even when it comes to like you know, it's it's going to be a judgment call based on what's happened. But what's making this really interesting? Is when you look at what Chelsea have self-reported, because Chelsea's self-reporting is putting a massive, massive spotlight over football. It's why we've seen today Spurs and accusations come out about them from something from 2008. And I said to a few Spurs fans I know earlier, you're going to see more of this, not just for Spurs, but for everybody. Yeah, and that and that, was, and that story is another load of rubbish because 2006 or 2008, whenever it was, um, that was already um, skyboshed anyway. That was putting the bin back then. But again, it's no, resurfaced because again, again, it's fashionable to get traction but, right now. But, but, I tell you what, but, I tell you, but I tell you why it's, the, 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 I feel like why they're going to do it is because I see this in the banking industry when it works in it. There was a point in about 20, about 09, 2010. There's a number, I worked working in the department, but you saw it going a lot. All these people were getting suspended for these poor practices. Turned out they were all doing it. 
And every time one person got suspended, they G'd somebody else up, who then G'd their boss up, who G'd. Suddenly, you had like hundreds of members of staff that were suspended. And it was getting bigger and bigger. And in the end, they realized if we end up following through with one of these sackings, we're going to end up getting rid of two, three, four thousand people. So they had to do a big line under it all, retrain everybody, quote unquote, retrain everybody and just go, but no more of that because they were going to end up in a really vulnerable situation. And I think that certain clubs might start because all the clubs are going to know all the dodgy things that other clubs have done because it's a small industry. But the point I was making about Chelsea is they're self-reporting these things. So they're the ones that have said, look, we signed Samuel Eto'o for nothing. In, in no, they didn't self-report that. that. They didn't self-report that no, at all. That, that's, no, that's the one they did. So the no, they the, that, no, F- that is a Guardian report with a load of um, uh, Dutch journalists that have been doing an undercover investigation. That's that, that's all, that's a part of it. But they'd already. I did a video on it. They self-reported the Etu and the William situation two or three weeks earlier. We did content on it two or three weeks before that Guardian article. They'd self-reported that they'd found these anomalies in the account. Again, that was under Abramovich. So nothing's going to happen. How can, well, how can you, you, how can you not, do something to a club true. when no one has been that's forced out? But, but that's not truly. If This is why something can happen. Chelsea have been impeccably, uh, 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 did impeccably well in the Roman Abramovich era. But uh, I want to ask you this question. Do you think it's okay if if they didn't have the money to sign Etu because the club he was at wanted 30 million and they didn't have the money to buy him at the club and the manager has gone outside the law of the game and transferred third to owner, sorry, has transferred 30 million to that football club via an offshore vehicle to circumvent the rules of the game so they could land him another talent. Do you think that's acceptable? Yeah, because they're going above and beyond. They're trying to win. Yeah, and unfortunately, mate, yeah, English football is in the gutter. The standards are on the floor. Yeah, standards are on the floor. It's all about, like, I'll give you another example. Tony Bloom, the Brighton chairman, the owner, won the best president award in Europe. What are you waffling about? He's took his club from 122 years to 123 years without a trophy. How's he the best president? He put 250 million quid in his pocket in the last two summers. What in yeah, his personal Edu, Edu, Edu won the, the best um, best director award in Europe. For what? Bottling the title and signing Kai Havertz. Yeah, and, and Jorginho. Yeah, football's in the all-time low, mate. It's an all-time low. Yeah, and FFP shouldn't even be a thing anyway. Yeah, how can, how can, how can somebody want to be successful and want to spend money on their football club, be told you can't spend an, uh, the amount of money you want when they've got billions, yeah, in City's case or Abramovich's case, they've got 20, 30 billion, the shakes or whatever, but they're not allowed to spend their money, yeah, because it might upset Luton Town or Sheffield United or Brighton or Villa. And what? Yeah, at the end of the day, I think 17 out of the 20 teams in the Premier League are owned by billionaires. What's Mm. the issue here? Yeah, and not only that, all of this post-boxing Dubai and all of this rubbish, good. Keep doing it. I wish my club were doing it. So so you are advocating and supporting the idea of cheating and breaking the rules? The rules are BS, Terry. Let's just be real with it. But they're there, though. Yeah, they're there to stop anyone breaking in to the big six. Nonsense. So why can't a team in the big six that's the wealthiest team in the league bar Newcastle go out and spend whatever he wants when he quite clearly sees he's got the money. Furthermore, when they forced Abramovich out of Chelsea, I'm pretty sure it was the government, the British government, that sold that football club. Yeah, they forced him out and had a deal in to sell yeah. that football club. That's, so a, that's another subject. Found, but... How comes they... No, I'm not changing the subject. I'm, how comes they never found any of these things, discrepancies? Because they, yeah, how because come they, they never found any of the discrepancies? Well, well, so they did. The, the government didn't. Well, they didn't, because hang otherwise they would have come out then. No, no. So listen, read the damn articles, Lee. The the Premier League did not do a thematic review on Chelsea when they sold it. That that was never that never happened. But Clear Lake and Todd Bowley's group, when going through the accounts to buy the football club, this is when they noticed them. They were flagged all the way back then. It's only taken until now for it to start coming out via the media. So there was a thematic review done by Clear Lake when they purchased the football club and they found these anomalies. Read the articles in full, Lee. It was there. They, they found it. They, the articles found... have been hidden from us for over a year. No, the, the article <laughs> hasn't been hidden, but the information has because it was okay, self-reported. Sorry, make, make that makes sense then, right? So you're telling me that the British government who were in charge of selling that football club, one yes. of the biggest in the country at, at that time, yeah, one of the most successful, probably the most successful at that time in the last two decades. The British government didn't do any of these checks before selling it to another guy. No, 
Wow. They don't. There you go. That sums up the state of England and football, mate. Well, maybe, may but they don't do that. They, there is, and the, the re reason why that doesn't happen so is when they no do one the fit and leave, proper uh, person test and they do the uh, due diligence and all of that on people coming into the league, the British government didn't bother doing that before taking that club off of him and going, right, let me check everything before we sell it to you. Like, come on. So the, the reason they don't do it is because there's no regulator in football. The British government are asking to regulate the Premier League and the Premier League is saying, no, I agree with you. There should be a regulator because what would what would happen if there was a regulator is these supposed allegations up against Chelsea and City would have been found at the beginning. If your accounts were thematically reviewed by an independent body every year to check that everything you're reporting is accurate, everything you're spending is up to date, the wage is just declaring that you're giving a, a player or a manager is going in and out your club and not via external vehicles, we wouldn't be in this type of mess. And your point Sorry, on FFT... So, so, sorry to cut you off, on, go on, just go on. say one more thing, right? You run your business, yeah? Multiple businesses and all that. When you put your accounts in, <laughs> you do clever accounting, right? We all in do. what way? You know, in okay. what way? Right, yeah, go what on. Mean in what way? Yeah, I mean, go on, what's your point? My point is, for example, the Mancini one. Mancini has been paid, allegedly, from this third-party company, which is owned by the same owner of the club that he was managing. Mm -hmm. That's very difficult to prove that, he, he's, that anything's been done wrong there. Just because Did he's been paid yeah, from yeah. the same owner, yeah, via another company that owner of, um, of Man City owns, just because he's been paid by Man City and then paid by him or just paid by him. Mm. And what? Prove that that is a rule breach or break, whatever you want to call it. Because at the end of the day, yeah. it's for me, that ain't breaking the law. That ain't breaking the rules. Yeah, that is just well, super well, smart. Well, and well, finding, a around, okay, yeah. finding a way around, finding a way around. This is the thing, though. If I was doing that with you, so if I have two businesses, I have TFT Productions and I have the Football Terrace Limited, and you're working for the Football Terrace, but TFT Productions pays you, there is no issue with that because that's not against the law. What City have done and what Chelsea have been accused of doing, or both been accused of doing, I won't say that neither have been found guilty, is not breaking the law, it's breaking the rules of the Premier League. So therefore, yes, you can say it's clever, but it's still outside the law of the game. The point you're yeah, also missing it? here, the, sorry? But is it though? It is. It's against the law. It's against the rules. It is. It's a, it's a rule okay, break. Well, I fully, on that basis alone, then, I fully expect <clears> to see your video yeah, condemning them not being charged and, and getting banned or whatever when it comes out then. Yeah, because no. if it's against the laws and against the rules, then surely they're 100% guilty. It should have been done it's, and dusted. If, if it's, again, but this is, what, this is where me and you, again, I, I don't think we overly disagree. If they're found guilty. So my point of view is this. We can only go based on what we've seen so far. And the one thing I would say that doesn't look good for Man City is the, the, the emails, which weren't hacked by some chinless wonder in his mother's basement. It's an ex-employee that logged into their system and downloaded them. So this, do you get wrong? This isn't like a hack as in like in a computer spy film. This is someone just logged in with their, it's, it's legit. They don't look good. But you're right. If they're proven to be innocent, then you won't see anybody more vocal in saying they're innocent than me. The same as you've never seen me criticize how much they spend. I've always praised how well they're run. But if they are found guilty, what I'm not going to sit there and do is go, yeah, they're guilty, but the rules are stupid anyway. Because that, for me, is a cop-out answer. At the end of the day, they've agreed to those rules and they've circumvented them, if indeed they are found guilty. But